Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check profit pack kit from my dart. As usual you can find the detailed review article link in the video description below so just click it and you will be able to read full review article with text in English and Russian and of course detailed photos. As you can see this is a X1 Mac Buster uh, from my dart. It's actually a rare release of the previously uh, issued kit from my dart so it's not a new tool kit. But it's released as a profit pack edition kit. So as you can see, we have this nice box art on the front side. Here you can see comparison with my hand. It's not that big box. And on the sides we have um, four marking options which are included into this kit. And on the other side there is some information about the kit. That there are plastic parts, footage, accessories, painting mask, and of course it's made in Czech Republic. Uh, this is a top opening box. And that's what we have inside. So let's start from plastic spruce. They are molded in dark grey plastic as you can see, which is which looks quite nice. I mean if we apply terms of the nice or not to the plastic spruce. So first plastic sprue is dedicated to fuselage halves. I can even zoom camera a bit so that you can see them closer. As you can see both are molded together with tail segment and here we have separate hatch for the cockpit access. And of course transparent part is molded separately and here we have special uh, segments for the landing gear. Note here we have several types of the dashboard which should be upgraded with uh, P parts which are included into this kit. Tail wings should be assembled out of two. No, actually, they're assembled out of. Um, they're molded as a one piece part. As you can see here inside, we don't have any position elements, so you will have to be careful while aligning those two big halves together. Next, we have another plastic sprue. Actually, that's the second one and the last one. Here, we have another dashboard. Also, we have landing gear wheels which actually should be assembled out of two halves but no worries because Edward gives resin parts which will replace them and we will see them further in the review and of course wings, wings are molded as one piece parts which is also quite nice, uh, let's say bonus which should be helpful in assembly then we have transparent part which is packed into the separate plastic bag just give me a second to open it of course it is molded as a one piece part because canopy was not opening on X1 there was separate hatch as you saw before and here you can see it it's quite small part and masks are included into this kit so no worries and molding quality is really nice so it will be easy to get a decent paint work on your aircraft then we have small plastic bag with resin parts those copy landing gear wheels as I said before here you can see them and of course they are considerably better than original plastic option let's zoom in a bit so here you can see them we have nice tire pattern we have nice wheel hubs which look actually good and I think they will look even better after some careful painting and I have no doubt that there are masks included which should help you get a nice accurate and precise finish here you can see assembly menu. <clears throat> this one is finished in typical Adored fashion, so you can expect a short history note on the first page. Then we have parts map, then assembly process starts with cockpit. And straight away we have a marking guide for four marking options which are given in this kit. Next we have P fret. Actually there is only one P fret which is pre-painted and it's packed into a separate plastic bag with cardboard so that it won't be bent. Note that we have here several types of the dashboard, we have belts and we have also some external elements. Again quality is really nice, it's typical for Edward so nothing surprising in a good sense let's say. Then we have small bag with masks, those should be used for the canopy, for resin wheels and for some external elements as I said before and then we have last plastic bag with decal sheet just give me a second to open it and we will check it closer as far as I can guess it should be printed in Edward because it's a profit pack so no cartograph 
but still quality is really nice here you can see it note that there are decals for dashboard so if you don't like or don't want to use PE parts you can use decals we have all stencils and printing quality is really nice I can zoom camera so that you can see the small writings closer now let's zoom out and that's all so we finish on this decal sheet um, I will be happy to hear your opinion in the comment section below so just write their um, short message what do you think about this kit and I will be happy to discuss it with you and of course if you want to help us subscribe to our YouTube channel like this video it will help us greatly and I will see you in the next video review as usual bye